In the previous lesson, we went over the six criteria that you need to know before starting your product research. In this lesson, you are going to learn exactly how you can find and spy on successful Shopify dropshipping stores. And the reason that you want to spy on other people's successful stores is because it will give you an idea of how successful stores are supposed to look like. But more importantly, you will be able to know exactly which products inside those stores are selling. And this is a secret method. Nobody is talking about this, but we are more than happy to share this valuable information with you. So let's get on with it, shall we? The first method to be able to successfully spy on other people's Shopify dropshipping stores is by using an extension called My Ad Finder. Now let me show you guys exactly what it is and how it works. First, open up your Google Chrome and search for My Ad Finder. Once you'll find it, simply click on Add to Chrome. And once you add it to your Chrome, what this does is it'll simply take all of your Facebook feed and it'll turn it into ads. So all you'll see in your Facebook feeds are ads, 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 and more ads. And what you'll be able to do with this is spot the dropshippers ads, go inside their site and see what they are selling. This won't help you to find out what they're selling, but it'll easily help you find ads to see what people are selling. And you will be able to differentiate the ads that don't work well to the ones that are performing well. So let's take a look at this extension and see how it works. Here's my Facebook account with the extension on. And the first product that I'm seeing is that toothbrush sterilizer that I was talking to you guys about. By the way, I didn't get to it through this ad, but because I went inside that website, Facebook started targeting me, other people who are running ads for this product because they saw that I'm probably interested in it. This is one way of how Facebook ads works. So here is one product. You can tell that it's a dropshipping product because I showed you guys, but if you just click on the link, Here's the product. You have all kinds of accessories that go with it. So it looks good. You can tell that this is a niche store. He's going only for hygiene products, toothbrush products and so forth. So everything here makes sense, but that's just one example. If we just scroll down, we will see more ads, more ads, more ads and only ads. So here are some bed sheets. And if we continue scrolling down, by the way, this is also a dropshipping website. If I click on it, you'll be taken to the website. This niche is obviously for the bedroom. It's all about bed sheets, expensive ones at that. These are high ticket items. So that's another website. Keep scrolling down on Facebook. Here is some crazy cap bottle. It's a water bottle that probably has some extra features inside. And if you continue scrolling down, you'll keep getting more and more ads. Most of them will be dropshippers ads. This is not a dropshipping website, but let's scroll down a little bit more. And here's another dropshipping product. It's very easy to spot them out. It's usually an ad that's trying to sell a certain type of product. I personally saw this one. This is another high ticket item. Let's just go to the website. I'll just show you guys really quick. Okay, so here's the product page that we got to using that Facebook ad. He's selling this product for $199. For those of you who are curious, he's sourcing this product for only $130. This means that he's making a whopping 35% profit margin, which is the minimum that you should make when you're dropshipping on Shopify. But making $65 per sale is a very good thing. But we're not talking about sourcing yet and profit margins and all of that. We're going to get to that soon. So that's the first method of how to spy on successful Shopify dropshipping stores. Now, the second method that I want to teach you guys is a website called myip.ms. Let me show you guys. Here's the website. The first thing that we're going to do is click on websites and then world websites database. Once you click on that, you'll be able to create a search term for the niche that you are interested in. So if there is any niche that you have a certain passion for, I suggest that you search it in this search field over here. For example, I love pets. So let's go with the pets niche. We're going to search any website that has the words pets in it. And in the IP owner hosting field, scroll down until you get to Shopify Inc. Choose that and that's it. Create your search. Okay, so here is the search result on myip.ms for pets. Now what it does is it usually sorts it by world site popular rating. So the first, the best rating is always going to be shown first. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to scroll to about the second or third page because there's a higher probability of finding the dropshipping websites on those pages. So here we are on the third page. Let's go into this sec pet supply. Just taking three random sites from the third page. Subscribe to our newsletter. It's probably a dropshipping website. Let's see. 
shop now and these totally look like drop shipping items i can tell you 100 percent that this is a drop shipping website okay here's the second site animal pet store and it looks like another drop shipping website it should be pretty obvious but let me just show you guys yeah so this is a random niche store he's not going for anything specific I doubt he's making too many sales, but I don't want to make any assumptions. Soon I'm going to show you guys a tool where you'll be able to see exactly which items are selling inside these Shopify websites and if these are even Shopify websites. So bear with me just a little bit more. This is going to get a lot more interesting with tools that nobody ever showed you guys before. By the way, all of these tools are completely free because I want you guys to succeed on a budget. So here's another website, PetIconic.com, that I got through MyIP.ms, and I can easily see that this is a dropshipping website. I know these products, I've seen them around in all of the dropshipping suppliers that I'm working with. So using MyIP.ms is the second method to successfully find Shopify dropshipping websites. Now, the third method that I want to talk about, it's a less recommended one. I'm not going to demonstrate it. All you have to do is log into Facebook and create a search term which will direct you to other people's ads. For example, search on Facebook, buy now, shop now, get yours now. These are usually sentences that people are using inside of their ads. And when you search Facebook manually for ads, you'll be able to find some in the video section. Now, the fourth method that I want to talk about, and this is a really important one. This one has a lot of secrets inside and it's going to answer a lot of questions that many people have always been asking and nobody gave this answer. So there is this extension called the Koala Inspector. It's a Chrome extension. Let me show you guys. This right here is the Koala Inspector. It will help you inspect Shopify shops by seeing exactly which shops are Shopify shops, what apps they're using, other Shopify websites that are selling similar products to the one that you're on now, and you'll be able to also see which products are selling inside of those stores, which we will go over in the next lesson. But before we talk about those hot selling products, let's check out this extension and how it helps spy on other people's dropshipping stores. So once you add this extension to your Chrome, all you have to do is obviously install it and then go inside any Shopify websites using the tools that I gave you guys before. So using those tools, we got to these sites and let's see exactly how the Koala Inspector can help us here. So I'm on that website with a toothbrush, sterilizer case, UV light. All you have to do is click on that Koala Inspector icon on top. And as you can see, it dropped down this little menu and here is where the magic is. So in the structure, you can see exactly which Shopify apps this app is using. We're not going to talk too much about apps. It's very important, but it's not for this lesson. You can see new products that this store added to his site recently. You can check out the best sellers, which I'm going to talk about in the next lesson. Wait for this one. As you can see, this site is not selling, but that's not important. We're just using this as an example. If you click on find retailers, it'll show you other websites that are selling the same products as this site. As you can see, it's telling me to go to a specific product page for the comparison. So if I just click on that toothbrush holder, now that I'm in the product page, I'm simply going to click on that extension again. So here we go. Koala inspector find retailers and here you can see other websites that are selling this product you can see it on ebay and you can see it on walmart so this product not a lot of people are selling it i don't know if it's a good product to sell yet i don't know if it's a trending product all i know is that this website is not selling it and there's not a lot of people selling it if we do see that there's potential in this product we will go for it but once again that's for later on so here is another tool to see which other shopify websites are selling this product but since this guy is not successful in selling we're not going to focus on him let's move on to the next site that we saw so here is the duvai bed sheets let's click on the koala inspector and see what's going on with this site here are the apps New products that he added to the site. As you can see, everything is high ticket. It's very, very profitable. Best sellers. So this guy is actually able to sell his products and he's probably making some good profit along the way. Let's see the third example. This Arctic Church site, Open Koala Inspector. Let's already go inside one of the products so that we'll be able to see other Shopify sites that are selling the same products as this guy. Open up the Koala Inspector. Check out best sellers, even though it's not important for this lesson, but I know it's interesting for you guys. So this guy is able to sell. Here is the product, which we actually just saw a Facebook ad on it. And this is probably a trending product, but since it's a high ticket and we're not starting with expensive products yet, we're going to put that one on the side. But once again, we want to find other retailers. And here is the example that I wanted to show you guys. 
Here you can see other Shopify websites that are selling the same products as this guy. So as you can see, I also had to do some research too to get to it. It's probably not going to show up on the first side, but the more you guys research, the more work you guys put in, the more success you're going to start to find. And now you're going to get your first assignment before moving on to the next lesson in this course. And in this assignment, what you're going to have to do is to find 10 Shopify dropshipping websites that are related to the niche that you want to go for, bookmark those 10 sites and save them because we're going to use them for the next lessons to come. By the way, if you don't know which niche you're going to go for yet, it's perfectly fine. Just use the Facebook ads to see which ads are going well, which products inside those ads are going well and start bookmarking those sites. 10 Shopify dropshipping websites that are related to your niche, bookmark them, see you in the next lesson.